I'm called Father Emmanuel Tsime and I am the CEO of Auriri Uganda Limited. It's a tech company focusing on agri-tech. We, we are based here in West Uganda, Western Uganda. We, we work with the rural population. One of the achievements that Aurira has been able to achieve is to build a team of young people. It began as a smaller team of about five. We have that long-term vision of expanding in Uganda and even in other geographies like East Africa. But we, we, we wanted to make sure that it works at home and then you can take it out. My background is religious, but also the background was to find young people who have discovered God and they also want to make a difference in life. Mr. David Bwambare came out from the bigger group. In 2019, we had an opportunity to attend uh, uh, the Stanbic uh, Business Incubator and uh, it's from this program that we came to know about the NSSF High Innovator program, uh, which we also joined. And uh, these programs have been able to help us uh, in our journey as entrepreneurs. Uh, we were able to develop our own products. We have uh, a product called Agritungo, which is a cloud-based farm management platform that is designed to help smallholder farmers and farmer enterprises to manage their records, sell their produce online, have access to agriculture extension uh, services, as well as uh, digital financing. So after we had got the support from uh, the NSSF High Innovator Program, we were able to increase uh, the number of farmers to uh, more than 10,000 currently. We also moved from 103 groups to around 260. And then also we, we also moved from 4,000 to more than 10,000 now, different smallholder farmers. Before Agritungo, we used to make calls and because of bad network we didn't access them or some people don't have phones and we had to go all the way to find them in the deep areas and also we would have to go through piles and piles of paperwork but now with Agritungo we don't need to go through all those piles and piles of paperwork we just need to click and get all the information we need. And it is easy to track every performance of every farmer and easy to know which farmer needs some support in terms of uh, capacity building and other services. So with the help of Manyakabi, I've been able to move gradually from two tons to eight, then to 50 tons at the uh, current stage now I am in. I don't regret coming from my older job where I, where I had a professional skill in it and I moved to another area where I've earned some profession. Now I'm a professional farmer now. I think I'm very grateful for MasterCard Foundation for supporting NSSF High Innovator Program. And also, it was very good for NSSF High Innovator Program to look for different hubs that incubate different startups and groups so that they can be able to grow. We only discovered these uh, incubator programs very late, six years into business without any intubation and I think we made a lot of mistakes. How I wish in, in our first year we got into such a program, I think we will be flying now. My advice for young people is that don't give up. Have your idea, be re resilient and, and continue working on, on that idea. It will not take one year. It might not take you five years. It might not even take you ten years. But if you, you insist and continue with the idea, there is always growth. With the support from NSSF High Innovator Program, Aurire is transforming Uganda. <laughs>